Let's go. I'm earnest. I mean, you're earnest. <laughs> I'm earnest. This is I'm this sad. Two years ago, we opened the first transparent specialty coffee roastery in Cape Town, South Africa. It took a decade of hard work, sweat and tears. But like many of our comrades, the impact of COVID-19 forced us to close our doors. But sometimes you need to close a door in order to open a window. And we did. The window of a 2006 Land Rover Defender TD5, to be exact. So we packed up shop, sold everything we could, and set out on a journey of a lifetime, driving from the southernmost tip of Africa to Rwanda. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us as we get our landing fit for Africa, explore our beautiful continent, and meet with some of the world's most exceptional coffee farmers and share their stories. Welcome to the Clay Pigeon Trading Specialty Coffee Expedition. Hi! Come on, we. It's going on my boy. Hi! You did that the last day. Yeah. Hi! Oh my word. This is perfect. Back. This is perfect. I was just trying to say howdy, but I said Heidi. Heidi. Okay, howdy. How's it? Um, it is day 1039 and a half of trying to get this landy Africa ready. And we are almost there. It is T minus 14 days, approximately, until we leave. Um, and things are happening like very very quickly so just purchased our fridge it's really cool we haven't connected her up yet to a power source so when are we going to do that so we need to order all the inverter battery and the isolated kits we need to still buy that and wait for delivery uh, before we can install and test the fridge yes. in the car but we did buy something else really cool this morning a dji is that right dji yeah is it, why did they say dji no dji dji i think you say dji but it sounds like dgi oh, okay. DJI, yeah. a little mini drone a refurbished mini drone so they they refurbish old drones and then um they sell it online like a much cheaper price yeah so we bought one it hasn't arrived yet yeah. um but a friend of mine who is a director and producer was telling me how she knows of journalists and other filmmakers that have used a drone in africa and some have gotten arrested and been put in jail for three years uh, for not having a permit which i guess you know if it's illegal it's illegal and you're breaking the laws but i just really hope that we are not filming anywhere illegally i mean imagine that i don't even want to put that out in the universe you know? but we need to be careful right yeah. but that's why we bought the drone we, we bought so oh, because of the weight because of the weight okay, so it's because it's considered small. a toy okay. not considered a yes but still yeah, and yeah. it's like i feel like we need to be like really careful so i don't even know where to begin with this we did get some contacts of filmmakers in africa that we can connect with but yeah we just need to check yeah. on that awesome. anyway i digress that is not the point on today's vlog um it was just a cool highlight in a week where everything's been going wrong so that was quite exciting but we are on our way now to Baltic Timber in Woodstock in Cape Town to collect our wood for our interior fit out for our landy. So we've pretty much done all the measurements ourselves um, and by we I mean Ernest <laughs> has painstakingly measured the fit out about 3 million times to make sure that it's all correct. Um, so that's been cut to size which is really really exciting so we're about to collect uh, the wood and then in the next couple of days we're assembling Correct, everything. yeah so we're hoping that we collect the wood just double check a couple of things am i even recording oh, yes. okay. uh, <laughs> we check a couple of things and then hopefully by tomorrow uh, tomorrow afternoon uh, i'm still working at Hans and Lloyd for the next two days because they've kindly asked me to push through for the last weekend just to make sure things run oh, smooth. Oh, today, 
Today was supposed to be your last day. Today was supposed to be my last and day. And me. Yes. Okay, cool. So, we're on our way to Baltic Timbers and then after that we need to go to a cushion place. Upholstery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Uh, to get our mattresses custom made. Um, again, we're also doing this on the cheap. We're essentially just getting foam and then some kind of waterproofing thing around it. It's very simple. And I'll show you guys once we're in there. And yeah, we'll do another vlog on the actual build when we get to it, which will hopefully be in a couple of days' time. Exciting! Exciting! Do you need anything else? What about tools and stuff? Have you got everything? Uh, I've got everything for now. I might need some screws and things, but we'll see. Okay. And then some B-roll footage. Yes. And then we're good. Okay, let's do this. Bye! Bye! By the door by where you are, it's gonna slide out the door. Cool, eh? 